from Salem Sports Park. It's the Flash Spotlight with goalkeeper AD, Adriana French. Well, it all started with my mom throwing me in every sport possible at the YMCA um, and then hard work and support from there. Estelle Johnson. I scored on myself um, from a punt in the wind. That was horrible, but now looking back, it was kind of funny. You know, you kid, you hold it in front of you and you just kick it like that, and the wind took it right back over my head into the goal. I had a couple good ones at Oklahoma State, but I always go back to the one, um, you know, growing up, my mom really wasn't able to come to most of my games. You know, I traveled with a lot of my teammates, and. Um, my freshman year, uh, she hadn't been able to get to any games, um, and she was able to drive down. I didn't know it. I was playing um, in the Big 12 tournament, and um, uh, my coach was uh, my assistant. The assistant coach, Karen Hancock, was talking back and forth with my mother, and she ended up showing up for the semifinals. And we went to the finals and um, played against Texas A&M, and it was the first time OSU ever beat uh, A&M. So my mom was able to experience that with me, and we were champions. For, so it was a really good experience. <laughs> Well, I usually, usually in the mornings I like to have a good breakfast and um, a couple of us have done that a couple home games, you know, I like br brunch. Um, but then, you know, have a little sandwich, uh, peanut butter and jelly before we hit the road to go to the game, so yeah. Um, more like routines, not really superstitions, you know. Tie the shoes the same way, put on the shin guards the same way, but it's not like if it happens the wrong way, I'm not freaking out. You know, believe in yourself. Um, you never know how far you can take, you can go without uh, believing in yourself, you know. Um, I think, you know, enjoy all the support that's around you and go from there. See, I love cartoons. Um, so if I went with cartoons, it'd be Lion King, I love the classics, um, but if we go to, you know, um, actors and actresses, you know, um, probably kind of in between Love and Basketball and Save Last Dance, those were two that I never stopped loving. Good Luck Charm by Jagged Edge. I'd have to go with Chipotle. <laughs> I was always a Jordan fan. Um, I wore 23 in college. Um, at first it wasn't by choice, but I, I represented it, I think, really well, and that's who um, inspired me, so, yeah, Jordan. <laughs> Oklahoma State. <laughs> Nicki Minaj, um, it's in between Fly or a Moment for Life. Unbelievable. Um, you know, coming in, I didn't know if I was going to play my freshman year. I blew out my knee senior year um, before I came. So um, I was able to play then, and we, you know, we were able to go um, and take the team where, they, where they've never been before. You know, we had never been to Sweet 16, and we actually made it to League 8 two years in a row, um, lost to the champions Notre Dame and um, Stanford, so those were really great experiences. Uh, freshman year in high school, um, I started um, on the varsity team in, in basketball, and his name is Bruce Erickson. Um, I would, played under him for a year, and he went to Oklahoma State um, as an assistant coach with uh, Kurt Budke, who had passed away. Um, but um, yeah, he didn't want to say Adriana. Um, everybody used to call me A, uh, but he just, the first two letters of your name and just kind of took it. And um, the people at my high school, you know, respected him and heard him say it. And it, then him talking to Oklahoma State coaches, they kind of knew me, recruiting me from him as AD. So um, I've just embraced it. <laughs> so ever since freshman year, my mom doesn't like us too much, but 
you know, it's the athletic name, I guess you could say. I mean, the goal is to play in a World Cup, right? So, I mean, that's probably the biggest one. But, you know, as a kid growing up, um, I feel my first professional game has already met one of my dreams growing up, you know, because you, you say when you're in kindergarten or first grade, you're like, what do you want to be when you grow up? A professional soccer player, you know. Um, and the fact that I was able to accomplish that is really something. I'm the oldest of three. Uh, my brother just turned 18. Yeah, it's a little scary. My sister's 15, about to turn 16, so she's going to be able to drive soon. That's even more scary. Um, and then, you know, my mother's been with us, you know, since the beginning. And uh, yeah, so it's the three of us. Raquel is my mother's name. Malik is my brother's name. And Patricia goes by Trisha, um, is my sister's name. Probably this last Christmas. Um, growing up, we um, would go to my grandparents' house the night before Christmas and have a family uh, Christmas meal and um, everybody would go tuck into the rooms and go to sleep and you wake up in the morning to presents and Santa Claus came to grandma's house, you know. As a kid you're scared because you, you're at grandma's house instead of your house. Santa's not going to know where I am. Um, but this year um, I have three younger cousins. Um, two five-year-olds and um, a little three-year-old. So I went online to eBay and bought a couple Nerf guns. And okay, more than a couple, I bought a lot. Um, it was probably like 25 Nerf guns. And I got my aunt, my uncle, my brother, my sister, you know, the whole family had one. Even my little grandma, she had a little petite one. And, um, you know, we just ran around the house playing with Nerf guns and it was so much fun. And the kids got into it. It was, it was really great. <laughs> um, you know, I'm um, going to school in studio art at Oklahoma State. Um, and it's, it's just a getaway. You know, it's so relaxing. So yeah, most of the time in my free time, I'm in there painting a little bit and going and hanging out with the teammates then going back to painting a little bit more, so yeah. Being able to um, take my mother back to Cape Cod because uh, she um, would travel there a lot with my grandparents. Um, my grandmother's from New Jersey, so. Um, but also taking my brother and sister to the beach. They've both never been, and that's something I want to go with them with. Well, I was going to say an artist, but you got me on that one. Um, when you see me on the field, and then when you meet me, you notice that like I might be a little um, loud or intimidating in the box, but once you meet me, I'm a big kid at heart. You know, I'm a young soul and uh, uh, that's how I want it to stay. <laughs> Just more involved in the art world. Um, maybe try to get a couple of my paintings into a couple galleries or something like that, you know, different uh, contests or, you know, kind of see what happens with that and, and then coaching. She thinks she has the best old person voice and she's like really proud of it you should have her do it sometime but um she's all yeah now you have hair kids listen to me and it's horrible but <laughs> because she thinks she's so good it's awesome <laughs> now you listen here you kids you stop calling my house <laughs> it's good i swear <laughs> Mm, Oklahoma State, yes. Um, well, I, you know, we had Melinda Mercado was here uh, with a flash before. She was at Oklahoma State with me before. Uh, now she's at Boston. But um, trying to scare her was always um, something that, like, the team kind of wanted to do. Because you, you, she's like, you don't scare many. And everybody knows that. That's something that she would say. And I tried to do it one time by getting underneath the bus seat. I got stuck. I, I somehow whittled my way underneath her seat trying to get to it and my bottom got stuck underneath the seat. 
And um, my teammates didn't believe me, and they started poking my bottom, trying to get me to move. They're like, oh, she's just playing, and I was literally stuck, and they were making fun of me, and it, was, it, it took me a little while to get out, but I finally got out. But yeah, so advice on road trips, don't try to scare somebody underneath the seat. <laughs> I really don't paint in front of people. I usually try to stay to myself. Um, and if someone tries to look, I'm like, fine. And I finally let them look. But usually when I'm actually painting, I try to keep it to, to myself. There's some good songs on both sides, but I might have to go with rock. Actually, I saw something on TV where this guy was really into ketchup and the guy was really into mustard. It was so bizarre, but like he like quit his job as like a like a lawyer or something because he wanted to collect mustard and it like it, it's so bizarre. Um, but I'd probably have to go with ketchup. I'd probably have to be with the guy with ketchup, but they like legit have like all kinds of different mustards from different places. It's I, it was unreal. Tattoo. Ears pierced? Okay. Uh, eyebrows, nose, lip, not so much. Tattoos? Uh, one or two, no sleeves. Pepper. Ooh. <laughs> Cheese. You're killing me. I'm an animal lover, but. Probably dogs because they might have a better personality. Hugs. You can get hugs from everyone. Tickets for all 2013 home games are available at WNYFlash.com or by calling the Salem Stadium box office at 585-454-KICK.